Hello, Viber friends. Today in this video, we are going to make a DIY blending board. I have always wanted a blending board, but at a $200 price tag, while I think they're very much worth it, it's just not in my budget. So I wanted to see if I could make a blending board myself with a price tag of all of the materials included less than $100. Can we do it? Let's find out. And of course, at the end of this video, I will also do a test to show you how this blending board works and see if we can spin some yarn from whatever Rolex we are able to blend on this contraption. <laughs> Let's get started. This is the carding fabric. This is the most specialized thing that we need to get our hands on for this project. I was able to purchase this at the Woolery and it cost me $45.99. I got this acacia wood cutting board online for $17.99. I have heard some people say that trying to use a bamboo blending board causes the staples to bounce back out and it's very difficult to get a staple into the wood. So I'm hoping this works out well for me. Also, my Minecraft house is made of acacia wood. There are a few other tools we need to make this blending board happen and I was able to pick them up at the dollar store. I got this package of paint brushes and this pet brush for a dollar each. The final tool that we need to make these Rolex happen are dowels or knitting needles, which of course I already had in my stash, so I did not need to purchase these. The only tool I need to put this blending board together is a staple gun, which I already have. So that means I did it. This whole blending board is going to cost me $65.98. So let's put this together and spin up some Rolags. One of the things to be sure you get right is the direction of the tines. We want them to be angled up. So whatever side of the blending board we are going to consider up, that is the direction we want the tines to face. There's a little bend in them and they definitely have a direction. I want the handle to be the top, so I'm going to have the tines facing towards the handle. When you're ready to staple it, you want to make sure everything is lined up the best you can line it up and start stapling from the center. How did it do? Not bad at all. Okay, let's check it out. <gasps> Beautiful. We're thinking we're going to put staples in the empty spaces, but by starting in the middle and then alternating your way out, it prevents you from bunching up or getting ripples in the, in the um, carding cloth. Perfect, that's not going anywhere. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna flip it around and do the other side. That's it, the staples are in and now it's done. We considered putting some staples along the side. It does kind of pick up a little bit, but it's honestly not bad. We're gonna see how it does after I make some Rolex on it. Here I am with my brand new blending board. Let's get some fiber on this blending board. I took a few handfuls out of my stash and what I'm working with is some BFL roving, some generic New Zealand top, some various colors of soft silk, and a little bit of nylon sparkle. So let's see how it blends. I'm getting pretty excited to see how this looks all spun up. It's time to take these Rolex off this board. 
I'm going to do that with my knitting needles. Oh no, I forgot the sparkles. It's not too late. We can add sparkles. Here's what I came up with. I don't know if I'm doing this right because I've never done this before, but let's go spin this. And I guess that'll be a good indicator of whether or not it's spinnable. I really don't know what to expect here. Uh, it's fairly densely packed and it's very, very different from the Rolex that I'm used to when I use my hand cards. Those are extremely different. So, I think this wants to be a little bit slubby. Let's, let's spin it just a little bit slubby. The DIY blending board is a success. And here is the yarn I made. Isn't it pretty? You can see all the speckles of the silk that I added. So just a fun, quick little project, but I'm definitely looking forward to spinning up some more roll eggs. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? We have spinning content and lots of fun here every week. I'll see you all in the next one. Happy spinning!